Hello everyone, my name is Aparup Roy. I am currently doing research in Durgapur, St. Peter's School. I am from West Bengal, India and I currently live in Durgapur. Recently my article got published in the International Journal of Science and Research. The title of my research article is Development of Cow Dung Using Hardwell Ingredients with Mosquito Repellent. And its paper ID is MR2142214112122. Now I use this study to make a mosquito repellent that is biosynthesized state using hardwell ingredients for the development of cow dung and to make a mosquito repellent which would be uh, which would be 100% uh, used natural ingredients now chemicals are used uh, and no chemicals or pesticides are being used over here and less smoke will come out now these are the key features of uh, making this study now the contents of my research article includes the introduction of it the objectives of my study the literature review of it of course, uh, methodology is the most important over here. Choosing of the ingredients, data collection, method of preparation, data analysis, conclusion, plan, budget, and the references that I used for making my research paper. Coming to the introduction is that uh, the article that why the article is important uh, for the industries to look upon is that the mosquitoes are the most imp uh, important and the abundant pest in the urban and the suburban and the rural environment now although they are very much important uh, but they cause uh, various diseases in humans uh, causing malaria uh, and many other uh, things they also the things that are there in the market uh, they use the uh, use of DDT and synthetic pyrethroids uh, so uh, what do they uh, do is that it causes lungs diseases and uh, skin uh, you can say irritation also occurs with that so a need arose to make an attempt to for uh, the herbal ingredients to be used in a repellent which could be very much bio uh, biosynthesized and can easily be made at home now very much we can we could see that people in the rural areas are dying of various diseases and uh, this is a very much important fact for a country like India to look upon because the population of uh, diseases uh, that are being infected with it it is drastically increasing each and every year so we need to look upon it so these are the introductions uh, that why this paper is important okay so now we will move upon to the objectives of my study the objectives uh, that why should I use this uh, paper to make an biosynthetic repellent is that I need to make an eco-friendly mosquito repellent I need to prevent the usage of synthetic mosquito repellent by, re by replacing it with repellents made from cow dung and other herbal products to reduce the growth of the mosquitoes by using this herbal repellent after moving on to the objectives of the study we will move move upon to the literature review of it now the literature review is the most important part in any of the research proposal nowadays now before i did this research i went to different websites and other uh, papers that are there in the um, google you could say or any other journals i read up there and came upon to that uh, a research was conducted by kranti sharma sharab mishrab and ashutosh dube whose really uh, work is very much important for doing this uh, project. So they made a herbal mosquito repellent which attracted me to do another mosquito repellent uh, which could be more even better than that. Okay, So they showed that how can commercial mosquito repellent be replaced with it and how can it be helpful for, for us and the uh, development of mankind. Now thereupon I got upon some idea to make my experiment and finalize my results. Then comes to the methodology that where did I do the research paper uh, uh, and uh, what is the study upon and 
the of course that who are the participants of the study okay and uh, what are the ingredients that are used now to tackle with the problems that are currently having in the synthetic mosquito repellent is that it is not so much uh, good for the use of mankind okay uh, and uh, the study that i did is a descriptive study and is a laboratory based experiment so uh, i did this research uh, in my school that is st peters in the situated in durgapur the participants of this study includes only me and the selection of the ingredients to make the mosquito repellent is based on the experience of our ancestors and the other research articles were reviewed before writing this research article moving on to the choosing of the ingredients we have that what are the ingredients that i chose now the ingredients that i chose is the dried neem leaves which gives off a very strong smell and causes the mosquitoes to move away or fly off from the area where it is being burned we see it in uh, rural areas where people uh, uses this kind of analogy to make their home or the environment mosquito free turmeric powder has a very well known effect on the insects often it is used as an insecticide or repellent at our home so this is also being chosen as a repellent maida that we see uh, it is used to make the ingredients in a definite shape because it is something of a sticking material or a sticky type of material which causes all of them to stick together cow dung is the most fundamental ingredient in this repellent as cow dung has phenol menthol ammonia methane etc which causes a very strong smell coming from it and mosquitoes usually do not able to withstand this smell and fly off lastly i used uh, lemon grass to spray around the repellent because lemon grass oil not only have a very good smell but also have a uh, or it also causes the mosquitoes olfactory glands to block up when they smell it which causes them to die or they fly off moving on to the data collection and method preparation is that the things that i used for using uh, this for synthesizing this repellent is that uh, the different herbal plants were collected from our locality only and the dried neem leaves were taken as a 20% turmeric powder is taken as 10% and when mixed with maida and was ground well to get a powdered form it was then mixed with a cow dung and uh, finally it was then pressed into desired shapes with the help of a mold which was then dried with the help of a dryer lemon grass oil was also being sprayed upon it uh, using a hand spray the coil was then dried in the oven at 700 celsius uh, for 6 hours and further it is being kept in a room for half an hour of drying finally these coils were placed in suitable airtight container kept for 2/3 day uh, for 2 or 3 days you can also keep it for storage so that the essential oil could spread uniformly on the coil now moving on to the data and analysis we saw that when we are burning this mosquito repellent in a glass chamber measuring about 140 into 120 into 60 cm and a window measuring 16 to 30 cm uh, we saw that most of the the mosquitoes that were there it flied off from that area okay and the mosquitoes we kept uh, is that adult female mosquitoes that was being fed with a sucro solution and were then released into the chamber okay and uh, uh, when was the coil uh, the mosquito coil that we used from the first time is a commercial coil which shows that it has a uh, we could say that uh, 100% results also but uh, also we could say that it is 95% efficient but the coil when we used it it showed that uh, it was also as repellent it also has the same repellence activity and it was also showing a very much important result that 95% of the mosquitoes were reduced okay so this is also an important fact over there 100% of the mosquitoes died with the application of commercial oil but 95% also died in the in the repellent that i synthesized okay so these are the data analysis of it
Next, come to the conclusion that uh, the lemongrass oil showed good mosquito repellent activity in performed test, but it was also a strong mosquitocidal agent. Hence, lemongrass essential oil alone or in combination with those obtained from other mosquito repellent plant species could be potentially used for the preparation of mosquito repellent products. The results of this investigation, in, investigation indicated that the lemongrass oil could be beneficial for the control of vector bond diseases. It provides an herbal repellent with long lasting protection, save for human life, human and domestic animal life with no side effects. Coming to the plan is that uh, the study included the use of herbal repellents which I got up from my locality and I plan to do this project since after I heard that scientist has announced a, com a competition regarding the cow science project. The project was completed within 15 days and was conducted in my school, St. Peter's, that is located in Durgapur. The budget is uh, around 500 rupees for which the full project was being completed, including the buying of the material, the conduction of the study, etc. The references that I used is J. Krishna Vigyan uh, DOI number is this and development of cow dung and all the other references is also being given over here. Thank you for giving your time to read this paper. I am very much grateful to all of you. Thank you.